Hey, this is Web Junior 1977 here. Welcome back, everybody, to the Oasis. Wanted to do another quick video here, uh, showing a couple new consoles that I picked up. I actually picked up four consoles, two of them being uh, non working PS1s. Probably going to either throw them away or a, make lamps out of them or something. Because uh, I really have no use for them. I got the whole. I got all four consoles for 20 bucks, so kind of a package kind of deal. And I uh, also got a fifth console for free. So, right, I'll show you the two consoles. I got two, like I said, I got two PlayStation 1 consoles. I'm going to probably, I'm going to do something with them. Uh, along with that, I got a, a second ColecoVision, which I don't really need and it doesn't work anyway. But, uh. What I did get with what I am keeping out of it are these. I got the, uh, finally got the controllers. I need to clean these up. I didn't really clean these up yet. Should have cleaned them up before the video. I cleaned the other two consoles up before the video, but I haven't cleaned these up yet. But these, uh, I definitely needed these for my, <clears throat> my ColecoVision that is, that I'm displaying right now. So yeah. Try to get another one of these silver thing. I'm not that concerned with it. It doesn't, uh, it's just a looks thing. It's not gonna affect the, whether it works or not, obviously. But, uh, looks like they got layouts on those too. That's pretty cool. They have slots there that you can put layouts in. Just like the, uh, other console that I'm doing. Very similar. These are a little bit newer controllers than the next console i'm going to show you but uh same basic idea but uh, anyway moving right along to the next console and that is an intellivision mattel's elect electra what oh mattel's electronics intellivision intelligent television and as you can see these are these are the same controllers these are actually the ones that came before the uh, ColecoVision and they also have a an inlay on this side I believe or no well, on this side that slides in they, the inlays come with the game and then they had like it went inside here and it had the actual buttons you needed because you didn't use all these buttons most most of the games you only used a few buttons in here, but uh, not sure if this works. They said it didn't work. I'm not sure how they know that. Um, they they couldn't have hooked it up because the the cable coming out, uh, the video cable doesn't even have an end on it. It's just a weird end I've never seen. I'm gonna probably cut that off, the end off, and put an RCA cable on there, and see if I can fire it up. Um, it's got a it's got the uh, it's got a built-in power cable that can't be removed. Not sure why they do do that, and I'm also not sure why they wire the. Uh, this got like a phone cord in there, and they wire they hardwire the controllers, which is kind of stupid. A lot of people didn't like it, and I gotta open it up because the reset button does not not want to work. <coughs> power button works. So, yeah. If it doesn't work, I'm going to keep it for display. It was worth it to me to, for the, to get the ColecoVision controllers and to have this for display because it's a really nice piece. I mean, it's not bad looking at all. Next one I have is actually older yet than the Intellivision. Um, the guy said, hey, he goes, they must have threw the other one in the garbage. He said, I can't remember what it was. Let me go out and look. I said, well, I don't want to dig in the garbage. He goes, well, I'll go out and look. So he goes out, dives head first in it. He destroyed the box, uh, unfortunately. I think I'm going to have to throw it away. And it had batteries in it. Uh, it takes batteries, and they were kind of corroded. Anyway, I'll show you the console. It is an Odyssey 200 by Magnavox. The controllers are actually built into the console itself. And this one has... Uh, Tennis, hockey, and smash, whatever the hell smash is. But uh right here's the actual box. What's left of it. But uh 
yeah i think i'm just gonna throw it away and not worry about it but again it has it has the, this one has the oh no this one's the one that has the weird end see that's like it doesn't have it doesn't really have an end that i notice so i'm going to cut that off and put an rca end on just see if it works the other the Coleco, the uh, television actually just has a RCA. I did clean this one up as well. It looks pretty decent, but uh, nice and shiny. Again, if it doesn't work, it, it, like I, I forgot, to, uh, I forgot to continue what I was saying. It has internal batteries. Takes six six C batteries, uh, but they were corroded and rusted to cra like crazy. So I just busted them out of there. Uh, Unfortunately, the springs, most of them are gone, and the actual uh, casing that the batteries, that house the batteries, is broke. So I don't think I'll ever be able to put batteries in it again without a serious modification, which I think I can do. But I'll have to just start to determine whether it's worth it or not. Um, but it does have a ray of hope because there's an AC adapter, apparently. So I might check in on the AC adapter. See if I can uh, get an AC adapter to make it work, along with uh, putting a, a proper end on that uh, wire. But uh, I, I might be able to get it working. I'm not sure. If I don't, again, I didn't pay nothing for this. The guy dumped, dove in the dumpster to get it. I'll show you the back of it. I cleaned it up big time. I mean, it was filthy. It was completely, I mean, it was nasty. But uh, made in the U.S., always a good thing. But, uh, yeah, there's that one. So, uh, I'll be checking them out and, uh, I'll maybe do some updates. If I can get them working, I'll do updates to, uh, let everyone know if I got them working. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, I'll meet you right back here in the Oasis.